Hey everybody, a while ago I made a video on YouTube about um, using all of the brushes in uh, ZBrush 4 R2B, um, or was that R2? I'm not sure, one of the two. Anyway, this is ZBrush 4 R2B, um, yeah, right up here, and I'm going to do the same thing, but we're going to take a look at those brushes again, either through... Uh, the spacebar, holding spacebar, and in the second one down, second circle down, to get these, or right up here, your brushes palette. Uh, so I will be get getting to these brushes uh, by either up here, or by pressing the spacebar to access the same type of menu. Okay, so let's start off with the uh, blob, well, blob brush. Base type pump. Okay, now what this does, let's, okay, press control D to uh, divide our model. 700,000, 2 million, that's pretty pretty uh, dense. Now let's take a look at the blob brush and see what it does. Now using this for a while I have noticed that it really matters how quickly you move your mouse. Uh, just you know moving your mouse very quickly like this has a big res or a drastically different result than just slowly moving your mouse. It um, it slowly applies like a random bubble type look to whatever you or whatever you're trying to create. So if we, okay, undo. Okay, brand new bubble. Let's test this. Um, okay, I'm gonna click and be totally crazy. This is giving me lots of little bubbles in a totally random pattern. Okay, that would be nice for certain looks. Maybe a shell or an alien skin or uh, I don't know, hives on a human being or something like that. Now let's flip it around and do it very slowly. That is almost a straight line. Gives you one continuous bump, but when you switch directions it changes the bump depending on the angle of your mesh, I think. And another factor with um, making different bumps and stuff is the size of your brush. So uh, next to uh, I, O, and P on your keyboard are the bracket keys. Um, so uh, bracket facing right makes it smaller bracket facing left makes it bigger. Now uh, I'm gonna try both. Okay, this is a really small brush. Another thing that affects your brush size is how close you are to your object. Um, so if we zoom in really really close we still have a really small brush which is really hard to see. Um, but if we move out um, that brush will have a much different effect on our model, which was still hard to see, but yeah, see that's much more noticeable. Um, oh, but fairly cool. Um, okay, so let's push the uh, bracket facing left, which is the farthest right one, um, to make it r as big as it can get, and zoom out just a little bit, and uh, that is a good way to get or pull out geometry very quickly. Now we have some type of brain. Pretty cool. So that is that brush. Next, in the next video, we will be discussing the clay brush. Stay tuned.